Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY tutorial on this Kiss Salon Dip Kit set that I got from the beauty supply store for $12. This whole set was $11.99 and I was able to give myself a bomb manicure at home for $12. Like you cannot beat that. You guys know I love to DIY nail stuff like that's just my thing. So when I saw this I had to pick it up and I had to do a whole tutorial on it. So that's what today's video is. I've opened up my little dip kit set and I'm just taking out all of the items that come in the set. So you get the activator, you get the gel you get a little tray or like dish to hold the dip powder some nail tips a sponge two extra brushes a little mini nail file and a mini nail cuticle pusher and the instructions of course you always want to make sure you read the instructions for anything like this because there may be certain steps that you're not aware of that you don't want to skip so I just went ahead and I opened up the little nail tips that come in this salon dip kit set and I was just checking them out to see if this was the style and the type of nail tip that I wanted to use and after looking at them like I could have used them but I wasn't too crazy about them because there's actually another kiss um, nail tip that I like better because it's I feel like it's a bit sturdier so I went ahead and I pulled those out um, this is seven dollars and forty nine cents also from my local beauty supply store it comes with a hundred tips and it actually comes with a nail glue as well I really like this set of nail tips I feel like they're very sturdy so I just went ahead and I buffed my nails down so that they're nice and smooth for my nail manicure that's about to take place I'm really excited because I love the way that these turned out and I know you guys are gonna love it too so you just want to go ahead and buff each fingernail like I'm doing here and then I went ahead and I clipped my nails down just so that they're nice and short and clean underneath the nail tip then I went ahead and took the wooden cuticle pusher and I just pushed back my cuticles I feel like this is crucial for giving yourself that perfect manicure there's so many times where I've gone to the nail salon and they haven't even touched my cuticles. I feel like that's a must. Like when your cuticles are nice and clean and pushed back, it makes your nails look that much better. So now that my fingers are all prepped and ready for my manicure, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the nail sizes of each tip that fit my fingers. You want to apply a little bit of pressure when you're measuring out to make sure that when the nail spreads, it's not going over your cuticles or over the sides of your nail like you want it to fit perfectly. So I'm just going ahead and doing that and picking out two of each shape that fits my finger. In the directions for the kit, you can actually use the gel that comes inside of the kit to apply the nail tips to your finger. It kind of works like nail glue, so I just went ahead and followed the directions and did that, and I didn't have any problems with lifting of the nail. Um, it was just as sturdy as using nail glue, so I was really pleased. So just go ahead and apply each nail tip to your finger. This is what the nail tips look like once they're on. They're really nice and long and square and they have like that straight edge that I really like. And then I'm just taking that same nail buffer and I'm just buffing the top of the nail tip so that it can kind of blend in with my fingernail better.
then taking my nail file this is also from kiss i didn't realize every single item was from kiss i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just going to buff my nails down if kiss wants to sponsor your girl then it can hit me up in my email you know it'll be in the description it'll be in the description box down below but i'm just going ahead and i'm giving myself that really nice square sharp straight shape that was the look that i was going for i really love um how kylie's been doing her nails lately like i feel like her nails have all had this like very similar like long but square and like sharp kind of look so that was the look that i was going for that i was trying to achieve with this 12 dollar nail kit and then i realized that they were kind of long so i went ahead and i cut them down a little bit with my nail clippers and then I'm just going back in and I'm shaping, I'm focusing on that shape to make sure that it's perfect because that is legit my favorite part about my nails is the shape. It has to be on point, okay honey? Like. Then taking that dip powder from our salon kit, I poured it into the little tray and I'm doing one thin layer of the gel and I'm submerging my nail into the powder. You can actually, um, you can do it upside down the way that I'm doing it or you can do it right side up and then kind of scoop the powder over your fingernail. Um, I made my nails really long so it was kind of like not so much space so i just found it easier to just dip it in upside down and then tap off the excess powder i didn't have any issues with it messing up the nail or anything like that so i feel like you could do it either way honestly and it looks already it looks amazing like that one little layer i was just like wow this is gonna be bomb i just know it i can feel it then i just went ahead and i did the same thing to the rest of the fingers so remember just one thin layer of the gel and then you want to dip it in that dip powder and tap off the excess and then here I'm just showing you guys like you can scoop the powder over the nail if you feel more comfortable doing that either way both ways work That was one layer of the gel and the powder and then you're going to take your little sponge that comes in the kit and just wipe off that excess powder that's sitting on top of the nail there'll be like a thin layer of it you just want to dust that off so that you can go ahead and do more layers so you can really build up the thickness of the nails so this is me going in with my second layer of the gel and then dipping it directly into the dip powder The thickness of the nails after two layers um, wasn't enough for me just because I know like I'm always banging my nails and stuff and that they could possibly break. So I went in with a third layer. I kept most of the gel up at the top near the nail bed because I was really trying to build up that apex of the nail just to give it a bit more thickness and a bit sturdier because they are so long. And then I went ahead and I scooped the dip powder on top of the fingernails. You want to really clean that powder off of the nail and then go in with your activator and apply a thin layer of the activator to each nail this is what kind of hardens the nail overall like it just makes it a lot harder so that it does feel like that acrylic set of nails and then that's when you can go in and you can actually file and buff the nail you're not able to do so before you apply the activator but after you apply the activator that's when you can go in and shape and buff the nail you want to be really like cautious when buffing the nail because they are already thin so you don't want to take off too much of the dip powder product 
but as far as shaping i went ham because you know like shaping is my favorite part i just love when like my shape is perfected so i really wanted to go for like that long square sharp kind of edge nail so that's what i was doing for each finger i really just took my time with this because i wanted the shape to be perfect Then this is what the nails look like, all shaped and buffed. They look so good. I honestly love the matte too. I probably should have left the matte, but the clear top coat looked cute as well. The next step is to just go back in with that activator and you want to apply a thin layer of the activator to each fingernail. This is kind of just finishing off the nails. Um, this is like the last step and then you can go in with any kind of nail polish color that you want or any um, top coat. I'm just using the gel as a top coat which is what the instructions say that you can actually do. And this is my finished manicure. You can kind of see the tips a little bit through the nails, but I'm not mad at it. I think it looks really cute. I love this DIY salon nail kit that you can pick up at your local like drugstore or beauty supply store for the low low. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam. You are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. And I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.